On now to round four of the championship, the Alan Jeffries, an event that Steve Saunders has to win if, to, if he's to make any impact on the top two or three riders. But to practice in now, Rob Crawford there. <laughs> St Steve Colley making a bit of a mess of things, but quite enjoying it. Crawford there. I think that tree log's been there for quite a few years for people to practice on. This is the familiar start area of the Alan Jeffries. Started here for quite a few years now and just down the road we're at the first section. And Philip Alderson gets the job going. British Championship leader Steve Colley here, getting on with the job, looking very nice and smooth at this early stage. And Paul Rose here now riding Yamaha to change in after the Scottish. We're hoping to regain some of his lost form. Also looking quite smooth. And now Steve Saunders. Slightly different angle, but Steve cleans it easily. John Lampkin there watching carefully. Young Shirty goes up. Very fit, physical rider Shirty. Does a lot of training. And now the section a little bit further up. Steve Saunders there just lining himself up ready for the next bit. Quite an easy section this one. No need to mess about too much. to make his attempt. No problems there. A few of the sidecars here, they've got their sections quite close to the solo ones. Surprising that the 250 Yamaha has the power to drag two people along, but doesn't seem to be doing too badly. And he's got himself into a spot of bother there. It's going to be difficult for the observer. Looks like he's written a five down. And the Rorty Fantic now, probably a bit better tool for the sidecar men. And goes out of that one without any problem at all. Back to the solos now. Rob Crawford having a quick chat with John Dickinson there. Gerald Hutchison doing the section. Got a little bit offline and it's very, very slippy, even if you're online is this section. No matter how late you are in the entry, it still seems to remain slippery. Here's Rob making his attempt. Lines himself up well there. Quite a bit of control there for Rob, he's usually quite aggressive, he was fairly steady there. Martin Richards here, 
One of the most travelled riders around. Had to come all the way up from Cornwall to most trails and not making it worthwhile there. And Shirty there. Takes what looked like an unnecessary dab, but you never know. I think time now in the Alan Jeffries was getting a little bit tight and Steve Colley was rushing as well. And takes a rather uncharacteristic five there. He's not happy with that. Probably thinks that could have cost him the win. And certainly a section that was well within his grasp within his grasp to clean. So there's a bit of posing on the way out, seeing as though he's already had a five. Paul Rose now on the next section up. Very good trail, Alan Jeffries. Uh, most sections were cleanable, but uh, it just took a lot of doing to clean them all. Ryan Braybrook here. This right hand exit here was quite a bit tighter than it looks there, Wayne making it look quite easy. And British champ Steve Saunders. This is the event he's got to win to make an impact on the others. And he takes a dab as well. And on to the last group now. And already, probably half the riders that you're seeing are already incurring time penalties nearly everybody misjudged the time limit here hanging hanging about early on and most people lost time marks as well as observation and Rob Crawford here I don't think his looks at the section is uh, letting his mind tell him where to go but uh, does it no problem shirt is probably in the same boat They've used this section before, so most riders will know where it goes anyway. Nice smooth ride from Shirty there. Steadily dropping in Wayne Braybrook. bit of air time on the way up. Same section Steve Saunders. And Steve Colley there looking very eager to get into the Epigins cards. He will have lost some time as well. Richard Brown here on I think this is the third to last section of the day. Just clips the flight but he should get away with that. Putting away merrily there, probably get a three for that. And here's Beta Boss John Lampkin on his super trial. Air cold machine. Is he going to show us some tricks here? No, he's not. Very smooth and stylish as usual, though, John Boy. He's actually had three punctures during the day, as John Boy. So at the end of the trial, Saunders actually does take the win and closes the gap on the championship leaders.